Welcome to DIY Tech. How to set up the Wi-Fi range extender with WPS button. Plug your range extender into a power outlet near your main router slash AP. Push the WPS button on your main router slash AP first, then immediately push the WPS button on your range extender. Note 1, after you have pushed WPS button of your router slash AP, you need to push WPS button of your range extender within 2 minutes. Note 2, after pushing the WPS button of your router slash AP, your router's WPS LED should blink. If your router WPS LED doesn't blink, it means you need to push the WPS button again until the WPS LED of your router blinks. The WPS process will last 2 minutes. You can wait 2 minutes, and then check the wireless signal LED of your range extender. If it's on, no matter what color it is, or how many signal bars there are, then your range extender has been successfully connected to your main router slash AP. After 2 minutes, if the wireless signal LED of your range extender is still off, it means the WPS process fails. You may need to try one more, or several more times of WPS operation. At last, you can put your range extender in a proper place where you want to extend the wireless network's coverage, and enjoy the extended wireless network. No need to repeat the process. Once it's done, it will connect automatically every time you plug it back in. Thanks for watching.